In this lesson, we're still working with our customer table. We're going to see how to do some searching, some sorting, and some filtering. Here again is our lonely customer table. Let's go ahead and open it up in Datasheet View. Now this lesson makes a whole lot more sense if we can pretend that we have hundreds of records in here because after a while your database is probably going to get pretty big. My customer database, for example, has about 30,000 customers in it. But this one only has eight, so we need to pretend, let's put our make pretend caps on, and just pretend we've got several hundred records in here. Otherwise, this example doesn't make much sense. But first, I want to show you how to do a search. Let's say you've got hundreds of records in here, and you want to search for Donald Barker, for example. Well, here's how you do it. Click on the last name field. We'll search by his last name. And then click on the binoculars right here that say Find. The Find and Replace window pops up. Type in what you want to find. In this case, I'll type in Barker. Notice down below it says Look In. You've got Last Name, which is the field that we're in. That's why I had you click on the Last Name field. But if you drop this down, you'll see you can search either in last name or you can search in the whole table. If you're not sure which field you're searching in, you know, is it his last name or his first name? I can't remember. I just remember Barker. Well, you can set the whole table. But be warned, that'll slow your search down. So I'll leave that last name. Then we have some options here. Match the whole field, which is a default. It's going to match the whole field. Any part of the field, which means what you type in can be anywhere in that field, or just the start of the field. So his name could be Buckerville, for example. I'll leave it whole field. Search all, the whole table, or up or down from your current location. You know, if you're halfway down the table, do you want to search up from there or down from there? I'll just leave it on all. Match case means that upper and lower case has to be matched. You know, capital B, lower B. And don't worry about search fields as formatted for now. Come over here and click on Find Next. And notice that the Find and Replace will take you right to Barker. Now, if there were more than one Barker, you could simply click on Find Next again, and it would take you to the next one. But unfortunately, we only have one. So it says Microsoft Access finished searching the records. And that's how you do a basic find. Now, replace works pretty much the same way, except you can type in text to replace Barker with. Let's say you want to change all the instances of Barker to Jones. You can type that in. And then over on the right here, you can, you can find them individually. You can click on replace, which will replace the next one or you can click on Replace All, which will go through the entire table and replace all of them. Be very, very careful if you select that last option. I'm going to close this out. Feel free to play with this on your own if you decide you want to experiment with Find and Replace. Now, in addition to finding records, you may want to sort this data a different way. Now, sorting is pretty easy. Let's say you want to sort by last name. Again, just click on the last name field. And here are the sort buttons up here. A to Z is ascending. Z to A is descending. Let's say I want to sort these ascending. No donkey jokes. And there we go. Last names are sorted. Now, if you're used to something like Excel, where you have to highlight everything first, otherwise your data gets scrambled, don't worry. Access knows to treat each one of these rows in a record. So if you sort based on the company name, for example, it keeps all the company names together along with the rest of the data. So you don't have to worry about your data getting scrambled. Now please keep in mind that these sorting tricks are just simply for you, the developer, to open up the table, do a quick sort or a quick search to display this information for your own benefit. It's no substitute for building a proper query to do a sort for you. Because later on, you might resort this table and your previous sort is lost. So if you want to have 
a good list of all your customers sorted by last name and then first name, I suggest you build a query like we did in Access 101. Now let's talk for a moment about filtering data. Sometimes you might want to filter your tables to only show certain data or to not show certain data. We did something similar to this with the query that we built last week, but you can also do it on a table level. Again, just for like a quick view for your own purposes. But let's say I only want to see customers here from New York. I can quickly filter this table to only show customers from New York. Find one, find a customer where the state is New York. Watch this. Right click and go to filter by selection. And there we go. We filtered our table to only see customers from New York. Now there's some filtering buttons up here on the toolbar. To be honest, I never use them. This button here is to remove the filter or to turn the filter back on. Okay, but to remove the filter, all you have to do is right click and go remove filter and it removes it. It also removes any sorts that happen to be on as well. Okay, let's say you want to exclude all of the New Yorkers. You can right click and say filter excluding selection and now the New Yorkers are gone. All right, let's turn that filter back off. And let's say you want to filter based on some value that you don't necessarily want to find. All right, you can come in here and you can right click and you can say filter for and just type the value in here, filter for Buffalo. And I'm on the city. I'll press enter and there we go. There are the Buffalonians. Once again, let's right click and remove the filter. You can also filter on portions. For example, let's say I want to filter by the 716 area code. I can highlight 716 in here. Right click, filter by selection, and there we go. See how I filtered based on a selection of the data? Right click, remove. Now these tricks also work well on forms. I use them more in forms than I do in tables. So let's take a quick look at our customer form. Here's our database window. Let's go to forms and open up our customer form. All right, here we are. Let's say I want to filter out my records so that I only see New Yorkers. Once again, I can come down and find New York. Notice on the very bottom it says one of eight because I've got eight customers. I can right click here and go filter by selection. And now it says one of two filtered. Filtered is telling you that, hey, you got a filter on, so don't think that this is all the customer records. Again, we can get rid of that by right clicking and going to remove filter sort. Let's say you want to sort the values in this form. Let's say you want to sort them so that the customers with the highest credit limits show up first. I'll come down here to credit limit, right click, and I'll select sort descending. That'll sort the customers so that the highest credit limits are first. So you can use filtering and sorting and searching right here in the forms. Let's say I want to search for that darker guy again. Click on the last name field, hit the find button again. Now Barker just happens to be in here because it was my last search. I'll hit find next and there he is. I'll close this window and that's how you can do filters, sorts, and searches in both your tables and your forms and they work in queries as well.